Hello everyone, welcome back to the Taker Slayer. We're going to play some MLB The Show uh, 20 uh, franchise mode. Uh, we're in a three game series against Boston Red Sox, so it should be interesting. Here we go, without further ado, let's get the game going. I'll give him a rest. Um. Oh, I'll play Tanner Rourke. Oh, he's injured, right? I can't play him. I'll play Trevor Richards, I guess. There we go. I haven't streamed in a while guys, so bear with me here. We are under the light. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Mm. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. But guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Oh, and nice catch. Let's go. Through the course of a long season and just dominate every, every game, every team. It's just a foolish thought process. You're going to have these little hiccups throughout the course of the season. I think they keep you honest and keep you real and keep you on the attack. Let's see if they fight today. Owen won the count. And a swing and a miss that time by Pedroia as he finds himself in an Owen 2 hole now. Ball one and well below the zone. Richards, a 25 year old, he's in his third season as a major league player. This one's down to third. And boy, he's yeah, at that time as the throw takes the first baseman right into the baseline, but he makes the swipe tag and gets out number two. J.D. Martinez stands in as he looks at ball one here. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The one-two. Gets him looking yeah. for strike three. Down in order go the Red Sox. Nothing in the Red Sox half of the first. The Blue Jays coming to bat on MLB Network. Into the box now, Joe Pennant. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ah, come on. Starts to the at bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good guy ah. to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good. I think he might throw it again. Got him swinging. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. And Ooh. fouls this one off. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. Thankfully, ah, he's come on. And he gets the second out at first. Well, this is certainly something you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here, if there is one, is that that got him in the non-throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this, he probably could. Assuming, of course, that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. High in the air and deep That's to left center field. Back goes Martinez to the track. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this Woo! one back. It's a home run. Oh, and that was really close to the long out. The left fielder had a beat on it, and he gave it a great effort. But he instead, it's a ah. on the bases. Strike one to start the at bat. Sale has his target. Oh, one on its way. Oh, 
and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Ooh, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. Down. Swinging, and that will end the inning. Jay's up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there for strike one. On one. Behind 0 2 now. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out. Mm, Line damn it. The gap in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. Doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great bat the ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, Dero, of being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. Hernandez will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Digging in, Mitch Moreland. And he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. Called strike 0 and 2. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something else. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Let's go. Just fouled into the second deck. Again, another foul ball. Bogarts stands at first with one out. Popped up. Bichette shading to his right. And he makes Woo. the catch for the second out. From the stretch. Michael. All one. Count one and oh. The one oh home. Chavis absolutely hammers left-handed pitching. There's a lot of pop in his swing for sure, but if there's one criticism of his bat, it's that he doesn't put the ball in play enough in these situations. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that. Hey, thanks for joining in on the stream. Stepping up now, Bo Bichette. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees. It's strike one. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. There's a lot of moving parts in some guy's swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. Let's go. First pitch on its way. Ah. Stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Good job there to jump ahead with the fastball. If he's going to get back on track out there, the fastball is what he's going to start no. to locating first and foremost. Then he can work his other pitches off of that. Working for the punch out and the Man, offering. I see how it oh, works. Really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That's your Next favorite saying, isn't it? Kevin Biggio. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the belt, kicks and deals. You must be subscribed, Swing eh? Miss, oh and one. <laughs> Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already. And that's so what's two. that? Quick count. Stepping in, Danny Jansen. Uh, explain, really please, sir. Start to the season no, no, no. for him. As you can see by the April. No First delivery to him on the way. Oof. No balls in one strike. Ready with the 0-1. Oh, that's gone. It's got to be gone. Left field line headed toward the foul pole. Oh, so a two run homer down the line in left. His first home run of the That was unreal. Jays have moved out in front three to nothing. That was awesome, to be honest. You're facing an elite starter. You don't know if you're even going to get. Wow. That was a nice hit. He's not used to guys barely moving up and hitting him in the seats. 
Into the box now. Jonathan Davis. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. Now this pitch is sent on the ground for the first baseman Moreland. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Jays. Set for the start of the inning, and standing in is the veteran outfielder Jackie Bradley Jr. I don't know if I would like the batter starting with a 1-1 one, one count or a 1-2 really count. I like doing that myself. Fouled off. Bradley, or JBJ, as the initials read, he's in the midst of his eighth major league season. Ooh, like you know what I mean, man. I really like watching Roddy stole that cutter in on lefty's hands like that. This one was down too, and if he hits it, there's a pretty good oh, chance. Oh, probably, but I, I, I don't mind. Maybe even give himself a shin burger. And it's fouled away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'll be right back, folks.
Okay, and I'm back. Let's continue this game. And let's try to uh, beat the boss in Red Sox. Oh. Wow, I actually got him with that? Okay. They finally get him on a one and two pitch. You can see that he wasn't laying. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Breaking ball is swung on and bounced to short. Panic's got it. And the throw is wide. Ah, as come on. The first baseman off the bag. How about it? First delivery to him on the way. Andrew Benintendi comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. A ball and a strike. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Hernandez will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Popped him up. Guerrero in foul ground. And that retires the side. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the former St. John's University standout, Joe Panic. First pitch on its way. Lifted the other way to left Let's center. Let's go. One out. So one away in the Toronto third, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Mm, come on. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And this is swung ah. and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the pump. So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, and then absolutely dominant. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will... Wow. All set for the start of the fourth. And that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. And here's a fastball called for strike one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Sent on the ground out to second. Bichette gathers it in. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He was the winner of the AL Silver Slugger Award at shortstop a season ago. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hit on the ground to short. Panic is there. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bat. God damn it. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. Let's go. Be on the ground. You're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Rafael Devers goes down for out number two in the top half. Chased a low ball there, and he's quick. Quickly down in the count, 0 and 2. Swing and a Woo! miss, and that ends the inning. One. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Boy, 
after that base knock right there, d -Row. he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day, nah, you're come on. things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. A base hit in his first trip. On, he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. Oh, Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. Hit the other Come on, let's go. Right on the run is Benintendi. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he didn't put up much of a fight either, man. He gotta find a way. Can't go so how do you do the random count thing? We're swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Got him to go after that one. He's in a quick hold. 0 and 2. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Fouled away. <laughs> now another 0 2. Got him swinging, chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Come on. Standing in, Kevin Vigio. Kevin Vigio. Sale sets. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. towards the second baseman. Pedroia to his right. He has Woo. it. And behind the back, he gets his man. It's oh, wow. He got me. Back. How the frig did you get me? Top of the fifth. Thanks, <clears throat> man. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight for the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Thank you, Heidi. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Jackie Bradley Jr. comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch. Okay. He just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. And it's quickly 0-2. And Lucroy behind the ball in two strikes. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. And Come on, boy. Ball. Come on. 2-2 two, two, one more time. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's following off some tough pitches. 2-2 two, two count. And he just seems ah, to be hanging right here. God damn. He's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Benintendi hits a little over the 270 mark. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone-cold take. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Goddamn. 
Stepping in now, Dustin Pedroia. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. No hits to this point. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Hits are now even at four apiece. Softly hit here to the left side. In there. He's on his way home. He will score. And the deficit is down to only one now. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Two hits in two trips more in thus far. Cutter low. One and one. Two runs, six hits. And no errors for the Red Sox to this point. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Heading out towards shallow right. Springer will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the... Woo! Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And next to hit is the catcher, Danny Jansen. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. The wind up and the 0-1. Ah. Swinging strike and now it's 0-2. They watch out. This hitter's got one thing on his mind. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he chased it in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. Now with the plate, Jonathan Davis. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And here's a ball hit in the air. Benintendi in pursuit. And no one will track it down. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Hit down the third baseline. Nah, come on. In time for the second out. Now that. Ready once again, Joe Pennant. He's 0 for 2 thus far. Hey, buddy. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. Goodness. 0 and 2 now. Made him look silly with that one. High chopper over to first. Scooped up. And Moreland will God take this damn. one to the bag himself. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And set to go is the third baseman, Rafael Devers. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Now here it comes. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Boy, not the way you'd like to draw up an 0 2 pitch here. From a hitter's perspective, a pretty good job of staying alive 0-2. Yeah, and he did an excellent job on the offensive side. Not to let the A-B get away from him. I know he was down 0-2, but he pulled his neck and he stayed in there. Hmm. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hard hit ball to second. And there's his first base hit in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. So here's Michael Chavis now. 
Ooh, Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity they've been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Gio? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here and bust through in this one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. When this thing left the bat, I thought it had three run homer written all over it. But it bounces off the wall, so only one run scores. And now a chance for his buddy to return the favor and bring in one or maybe two. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Pickoff throw to third. And he's back easily. O2 home. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. Into the box, Andrew Benintendi. A swing and he pops him up on the infield. And the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Ready for another shot now. Dustin Pedroia singled home a run in his last time up. One and oh the count. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The two and oh. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. That no. Four. A run will come into score. Well, that's just not a good look for the guy in the mound. Base is loaded. You expect him to bear down and really fight to get an out, but instead he walks home a run on four pitches. Four runs, ten hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Springer looking up. Gone. It's Damn a it. Grand slam. Yeah, you've heard the saying stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well. That was the case here. Bases loaded, facing the best power hitter in the lineup. If he showed why, and he'll get there in plenty of time. To there we go. Away, and that ends the inning. Striding into the box, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He'll get us going for the Jays in their half of the sixth. Ah, oh, come on! Miss on a ball out of the zone. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count could be something they have to think about in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch got him and that's eight no. strikeouts now for him in the ball game he's been right but what's really impressive to me he hasn't walked anyone either he's just pounding the zone his stuff is dirty today George Springer swings and misses there so he's down 0 and 1 in today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. Got him swinging. Damn. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now at the plate, Mortis Guriel. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. No balls and a strike to count. And he lays off for ball one. Jeez, finally! That's the first ball they've taken all night. Do it again, I dare you! And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Sale gets the sign. Here's the pitch. And he will strike him out. God damn it. In the ball game and the inning is over. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on MLB Network.
seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Rafael. Yep. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Davis is there, and he has it for the first down. Now that is. Now in the box, Mitch Moreland. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Here it comes. Hold high in the air out to right field. Springer on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. Woo! Now the Red Sox DH, Michael Chavis. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. pitch to him and he takes a cold strike 0 and 1 next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds that's in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2 yeah this is straight survival mode down 0 2 the numbers are definitely not with the batter here and he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning Stepping into the box, Bo Bichette. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ben Intendi's got it, and there's one away. So one away now in the Toronto seventh, and striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Boy, not even close with that one, and he's behind 0-1. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Off-speed pitch, just missed inside. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. I saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. No hitter is ever going to feel good about taking the hat trick with three strikeouts in a game, but I will say he's not the first guy to have a terrible game against my men on the mound. And you know what? He won't be the last. We all know he's one of the best in the business for a reason. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Two out, nobody on. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. When your team is behind this late in the game, it's not a good look for you as a hitter to show no discipline and wave at a pitch. God damn it. We'll have to leave it there as the play is. Ready to begin the eighth, and into hit next it'll be the left-handed batter Jackie Bradley Jr. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch, bullet back up the middle. Davis is right there, one down. So striding forward now, Jonathan Lucroy hit high and deep out to left field, and he's gonna make the play over toward his Woo! right, and there are two away now. 
Mike Hewlett. Andrew. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Andrew Benintendi stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. Pitch is popped up. Guerrero is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Takes just four. So stepping in, Danny Jansen. He's working on a one for two game so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's deal is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Come on. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Uh, and he's no, 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 no. strikeouts for him in the ball game. In now, Jonathan Davis. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Good downward action there, and it's 0 and 1. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone, and he's having a big game. Throw is not going to be in time to get him, and somehow he's going to wind up with an infield single. Nice. Hey, this pitcher's been absolutely in the zone up until this point. That was a ah, come on, strike come on. just broken up. He had retired. 12 batters in a row. That's four clean innings. Let's see if the offense gets going. We could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Behind 0 and 2 now. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number 2. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. In now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at-bat here at strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Here's a oh, light man. swing and Come miss. On. Strike two. Two mid 90s fastballs and you're down 0 2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pot commit. You're either all in on another fastball or you're finding a way to stay back. Through it. God right. damn it. A swing and a miss at the gas and that ends the inning. One. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Stuff has never been a problem with this pitcher. It's execution and location that has always been his bugaboo. And that's exactly what happened here. I know he's ahead 0 1, but he find the harder to play way too often. Sends that one out of play for strike one. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. This one's down to third. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. Mm. You think he's not setting the tone for this series right there? Third knock of the night, and we're only in game one. This could be huge. Hit the other way out toward right field. There to play it is Springer, and that's out number two. Here now is Rafael Devers. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Owen won the count. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. 
He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. In this case, the numbers really do say it all. That's an incredible 13 hits now. Nothing pretty about those numbers. Kind of amazing he's even still in this one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Come on, guys. Close the first baseman off the bag. Now everybody's going to be safe. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off. And give me one second, folks. Thank you.
mound back. The bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains on two. Fans, make sure to join us here at the ballpark this Friday night as we've got the solution for these cold early season games. The first 10,000 fans through the gates will receive a complimentary team fleece blanket. That's courtesy of MLP The Show.
let's finish this game here, folks. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Ah. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Yeah, man, credit to this offense. They've been swinging the sticks well all game long, and it just continues here with a two RBI hit. Some days the hitting gods are simply just smiling down on you. This is line to left, 